Maintenance and progress are two separate things. Because maintenance is you guarding what you have achieved thus far in the spirit. But progress is dying to yourself to go to the next stage of information that God hasn't been able to register in you yet. Humility intensifies when you recognize that there are parts of God that is still hidden from you. So how could you build your full totality of truth? When there are dimensions of truth that are still hid. It invokes the learner in you. Because everything is not being disclosed. Your faith right now is working off of information that has been exposed. There are other dimensions of faith that are engrafted into information that hasn't been exposed to you yet. So if that information hasn't been exposed to you yet, so is the not the knowledge, but the faith that is attached to that knowledge. There's information that God hasn't been able to speak to your soul yet. And remember Romans 10, 17, I believe say faith coming by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Well, the word of God is progressively being given to you according to your attentiveness, your hunger, your obedience, your faithfulness, your, your, your um, sanctification. You hear God better when you get around, get away from certain people. That's why the word of God said in the gospels that King Jesus would get away from the disciples and everybody. Nobody could find them. You hear God better when you get away from certain people. There are certain information that hasn't been revealed to you yet. And in that information is faith. In that divine info is divine faith. So you are not exhausting all of your faith yet. Nor have you achieved all of your faith yet. That's the exciting thing about life. So how could you ever be proud or arrogant about what you know? Because there's things that you don't know. There's things that have been hid from your soul currently. Do you know why demons love when you struggle with sin? It's because during the time you're struggling with sin, you're also missing information that would have been easily obtained by you if sin wasn't your priority. Remember, nobody joins a math class in college if math is not their profession and their aim in college. Now see, when you're in middle school, high school, you probably cannot choose. But when you get to high school, uh, uh, college rather, you pick your majors. You pick what you want to major in, more so. Because now you're paying money. Well, just think about it. How much of the knowledge of God doesn't even interest you right now? You learn according to your interests. There are men of God right now that's not interested in doing deliverance. According to casting out devils. That's not their interest right now. But their interest is. Probably talking about. Repentance. Telling God you're sorry and making an attempt to change the decision method. But they may not have an enthusiasm about pitting oil on your head. Telling spirits to come out of you. If that's not their interest, 
the Holy Spirit will not be able to work with them in that dimension. You notice, you never saw Eli call somebody's name out by word of knowledge. We see Elijah receiving words of knowledge. They had different streams and also different interests according to their streams. Let me give you a deeper example, and this is this going to clarify everything. Peter was the one, only one interested to walk on the water. P, I'm going to say this slowly. Peter was the only one interested. To walk on water. I'm going to say this again. Peter was the only one interested. To walk on the water. Aren't there other men of God inside of that boat? Yes. But only Peter is interested. Only him taps into the grace. And the faith. To walk on the water. None of them were interested. They weren't interested. See? Grace is tied into your interests. A part of your faith is interest. You can't use faith for what you're not interested in. There's people that use faith to get healed in their body. Because their healing is their interest. Their well-being is their interest. Freedom from pain, sickness, illness is their interest. You can't even hear the word from my mouth if you're not interested in Prophet Joshua Holmes. You can't. You can't hear the word from my mouth and receive it properly. If you're not interested in me. Timothy was interested in Apostle Paul. So he heard Apostle Paul. King Ahasuerus was interested in Esther. So he heard Esther's petition against who? Naaman. The interest birth consideration. Which is a form of credibility. He saw Esther as a credible witness. That her word was correct. A part of your faith is interest. If you're not interested in a dimension of God. The information in that department will not be revealed to you. You have to be interested about angels to know about angels to see angels. Interest determines what you learn. And interest determines how you learn. Interest determines if you learn. The man came to Jesus said, what could I do to inherit life? But wasn't interested in sowing. But isn't it fascinating that when he asks Jesus, how do I inher inherit eternal life? Jesus didn't tell him to fast 40 days. Isn't that interesting? That Jesus didn't tell him you should pray more. Isn't that interesting that Jesus didn't go to his prayer life, his fasting life. Jesus didn't even tell him, what church do you go to? Do you notice that? Do you notice that Jesus didn't pinpoint any of the things that people often pinpoint? Are you cogent? Are you Baptist? Are you Pentecostal? 
You know, it's the first thing Jesus introduces him to when he say, what do I do to live forever with you? Jesus said, I want you to learn how to sow. Jesus didn't even tell him to learn how to forgive. Jesus didn't even tell him to learn how to overcome his weakness. Jesus gave him a sowing instruction. Why isn't sowing your interest? Why doesn't sowing arouse you? See, your interest will determine your eternity. Remember that. Your interest will determine your eternity. Wherever you live uh, 200 years, 100 years from now. Wherever you are 400 years from now. It's being determined right now by your interest. Any department of God that you're not interested in is the department of God where you're ignorant in. There are some men interested in departments of God. They know more. Another man may be interested in another place in a dimension of God. He knows more about where he's interested. Peter was the only one interested to walk on the water. So only him received the grace to walk. Just think about it. If he was not interested, it would not have birthed his question. So interests make you question. Bible said you ask, you shall receive. The interest made him ask questions. So the queen of Sheba is interested in Solomon, which causes her to ask him the questions that she need to inherit impartations to know. There was a strong seer's anointing on Solomon for him to know what he knew. You transfer the anointing through words. You transfer the anointing through words of life, words of wisdom, words of knowledge. Maintenance is different than progress. Maintenance is protecting what you have. Progress is positioning yourself to receive what you don't have. When you're maintaining something, it's already in your possession. When you're progressing, you are patterning yourself to have it in your possession. Let's think about it. In the upper room, they were maintaining. About 120 was waiting, maintaining, maintaining. Not until the Holy Ghost came. When he came, progression. See, maintaining... can allow a person to still be ignorant. Because remember, you're just maintaining what you've been given. If I give you a Nissan and you maintain the Nissan, it doesn't mean you have a Tesla. If I give you a Tesla and you maintain the Tesla, it doesn't mean that you have a Hummer H2 truck. Maintaining is not the possession of all of God's dimensions. It is protecting the dimension that God has allowed you to enter into. Progress 
is where you have created an atmosphere for God to guide you further. You could travel four miles right now. There's many more mileages that you could go. But four is what you maintained. You haven't inherited all mileages. Just four. If you become proud about the four. Somebody that has traveled 16 miles will deem you foolish because they at four adjusted their cell, themselves to the place of receiving 12 more miles than you. God will never send somebody to teach you that is behind you as far as a man of God. There's be people that come, they'll teach you certain things because you're supposed to tap into the knowledge they have. But your man of God will never be behind you. Because how could someone guide you to a lesser location than where you have traveled? How does that work? If you had 32 miles, and he only could take you to 12 miles. You got 20 miles over him. Why do you need him? There's things that I operate in wisdom in 2024 that I didn't operate in wisdom in 2023. In October, we're going into 2025. There's going to be things in 2025 that I operate in, that I'm not operating in, in 2024. There's going to be things that I will do in October that I didn't do in September. Progress is better than pride. Pride stops. But progress hops. I hop. I hop. I hop. One of the creatures that you should imitate in certain places in your spirituality is a frog. Because a frog knows how to hop into their next location. A frog knows how to use hopping for translation, traveling, transitioning. Even transformation. The frog learns how to hop. As its mechanism. Of escaping danger. Progress is better than pride. Pride. Is an atmosphere that creates God's silence. Remember what I just said. Pride is an atmosphere that invokes God's silence. The Bible says in James chapter 4 that God resists the proud. When you're resisting someone, you're wrestling with them and fighting against them because they are adversarial to where you are mentally. 
Progress is better than pride because what progress is you hopping. Pride is you stopping. Stagnation is an imagination that comes from the gates of hell. Demons did not progress with God. That's why they lost their offices in heaven. Their office was progressive. Lucifer had promotions that Lucifer never received. This is why Lucifer is jealous of every male, every woman's promotions. Why do demons hate to see a person go above where they were? Because demons didn't go above where they were. They had seasons that were scheduled for them that they never got to. Demons rob your future because they rob their own futures. You notice that Saul didn't want to kill David until Saul killed his own destiny. There's a strong wisdom, glory that I'm giving to you. Saul didn't want to kill David until Saul killed his own destiny. Demons only want to do to you what they did to themselves. They deceive you because they deceive themselves. They harden themselves against God's progressive knowledge. They judge what God was calling them to as incorrect. That's what they do to you. Progress is better than pride. Maintenance and progress is not the same thing. Same. Maintenance is you guarding what you've been given. But progress is you making preparation for what God wants to give you. Progress requires another level of meekness because meekness is the hunger for what God has hid from you in seasons past. Did you hear what I said? Meekness is hunger for what God has hid from you in seasons past, meaning you didn't know it. Things that you were supposed to view. You didn't see it. Meekness. Is you desiring the glasses that God didn't let you wear years ago. Now things are magnified. That was not your priority. It wasn't even a part of your consciousness. Your awareness and consciousness is heightened. Your brain is more intelligent through progress. Maintenance is just you valuing how far you have gone. But progress is readiness to go further. You maintain what you value. You maintain what you respect. This is why John was able to pit his head on Jesus' bosom. Because he valued the heartbeat of God. He pit his head, which means that his thoughts was in beat with God. It was in tune. It was in rhythm with God. That's why he could pit his head on Jesus's chest. The other disciples didn't have a mind. That its rhythm was with God. You could be anointed. And God could be disappointed because you're not using your anointing. 
Do you know that there's parents that teach their child not to be disrespectful and their child will go to school and disrespect the teacher or their child will go somewhere and start disrespecting authority. Their child is not using what they anointed their child to do. You could be anointed and God could be disappointed. God's disappointment births your awkwardness. Because God's expectation is an attempt to invoke your progress. And then God's expectation is all type of mechanisms that he uses to get your attention. To mature you, to build you, to edify you, to lift you. It's very possible that you could flunk the tests of God. The Bible said the blessed of the Lord make it rich in Proverbs 10, 22, and it adds no sorrow with it. The blessing is first a mentality of progress. That's why God blessed Adam. He blessed him with the ability to prosper, which is really the ability to progress. So opposite to progress is the cursing. The cursing is the rejection of progressive knowledge from God. Remember, you cast down vain imaginations and high things that exalt itself against what? The knowledge of who? Nastradamus? No. Christopher Columbus? No. You cast down vain imaginations and high things that exalt itself against the knowledge of Abraham Lincoln? No. The knowledge of God. So there are high things that Satan sends so that you would be against the knowledge of God, which stops progress, which is the curse. Galatians 3.13 says Christ has redeemed you from the curse. Being made a curse for you. You notice that if you study Genesis 13, that Abraham is progressing. His knowledge progressing because he's in the blessing. So the reason why he was he was not going back to his past was because he was maintaining. But the reason why he was getting closer to the father was because he was progressing. So the progression was beneficial to his stance in oneness with God. His maintenance kept him away from the devil, but his progress kept him closer to the Lord. 